Now let's get into polygon meshes. The mesh tool can actually be found right here. Now the lead tool here, as you can see, is mesh from surface or poly surface. What that is going to do is create a mesh from a surface. And I'm going to show you just briefly. I'm going to draw a sphere, select it, press my mesh tool here. Now this wants me to select how complex it is. I'll just leave it at the default in the center. Press OK. And my original remains intact, which I can then delete. So here we have a polygon mesh. I'll delete that. Now let's take a look at the submenu. There are a lot of tools here, as you can see, as well as primitives. I can create a mesh box, a mesh cylinder, a mesh cone, mesh sphere. I can adjust densities for mesh primitives. Unify or flip mesh normals. We'll be getting into that later on. The weld option will weld identical vertices, which basically will make your mesh a little bit smoother and a little bit smaller in file size and complexity. Now one thing you notice immediately when creating meshes is the density of the wireframe here. Polygon mesh is much denser than a surface or polysurface. That's because these lines are actually representing for you every polygon on the surface. If I were then to turn on my control points here, you can see that it's an extremely complex object. 